project Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation is a project which aims at the scaling up orange fresh sweet potato in selected African countries with the objective of making sure that we promote the production, uh, processing, as well as utilization of orange sweet potato so that uh, we reduce the hunger, malnutrition, as well as poverty among the population. So what we're doing with that is basically to build capacity of um, different actors along the value chain for OFSP. Um, actors are talking about um, ranges from the vine multipliers to root producers, a value addition people, and of course um, other actors that help the value chain um, operate effectively and efficiently. The project is targeting smallholder farmers because these are the people who are suffering from food insecurity, malnutrition and poverty. And specifically we are targeting youth and women because these are the people who do not have employment and they have got very uh, scarce means of finding ways of generating income to improve their households. We normally produce vines as well as tubers from nine varieties of orange fresh sweet potatoes. A major advantage of planting um, the orange fresh sweet potato is the fact that um, it's a crop that every part of it is consumed, you know, and it's very healthy, you know, from the, from the leaves um, to the roots. It's a crop that in three months, depending on the variety, you can cultivate and harvest, and of course also cultivate again the minimum of three cycles in, in the 12 calendar months, you know, so it's a crop that has got wealth potential as, as, as well as the health potentials. One of the most important accomplishments in Nigeria for TAT is the fact that um, in, uh, at the value addition level, we are trained um, SMG Foundation, and SMG Foundation has gone, you know, way further to build the capacity of about um, 18 value addition um, specialists. You know, people are into pastries, people are into uh, cake making, bread, bread baking and all of that. So this is moving from output to outcome. You know, you build capacity of a set of people and they went ahead to also build capacity of people. In Essence Chief Foods, we use orange fresh sweet potato to produce a lot of affordable and innovative food products. Orange fresh sweet potato has really enhanced my business in so many ways. It's profitable and it's unique. It makes a lot of people that doesn't eat ordinary white bread eat it because of the health benefits. The International Potato Center, they have really helped me a lot. Um, they were here March this year. They brought in um, 18 people from the geopolitical zone in Nigeria to attend three days practical training on all the value addition. It is through International Potato Center that I got to know all, almost all the farmers supply me route today. There are a couple of farmers who have successfully adopted the OFSP uh, um, vines, root production. One of them is Joseph. Joseph is in Nasarawa State and uh, he's doing fantastically well because he's improved and expanded his production line, vine multiplication, root production. I was invited for a week program through the CIP. I was in uh, Anambra for one week workshop at uh, Isuchi Foundation. I supply more than 10 tons. I employ more of youth for them to see the opportunities in OFSP business, value share. And I also to encourage them, tomorrow they can also start their own, make profit and grow and expand the valuation of OFSP. My life has really changed though since I got to know about orange fresh sweet potato. When I start the value addition, it seems that place is even where the whole money lies because juice production, you have almost 100% again of what you produce in the juice and um, bread is um, a daily consumption. We produce up to a minimum of 5,000 pieces of bread every day. It's the profit we are generating from Esonchi food that is private sector that we are using to run Esonchi Foundation as a project we are doing. Like last year we bought this vine about um, 300 bundles. We called the women in this community, we gave it to them free of charge just because of the nutritional value for them to plant it and have it in their 
backyard and be eating it for them to reduce malnutrition and dietary diseases. SIP has been training government extension workers as well as NGOs who are spread throughout the country in order that there is continuity of the activities which currently SIP is doing right now, even after the project is over.